Hi guys, welcome to a new video on Fake and Real just for you. Today we're going to do a little repair video on a very nice German coffee maker called Gastrobac. Gastroba. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it correctly, but hey, bear with me here. It's a design espresso machine and it's an Advanced Pro G. Now the version number is 42612. Now this uh, type is very common uh, of a similar machine like the Solace, the Sage or the Reville. Now the thing is with this specific machine there is a very common problem that the solid valve or also called the magnetic valve gets damaged over time and over time I mean within two years so before I even thought of doing research on this machine the guy who sold it to me a very nice price on marketplace so I thought why not and just take the risk the first thing I noticed when I actually had this machine there was a lot of water damage and corrosion on the sides and on the bottom of this machine. So I thought, hmm, there is probably something that is broken or one of, the, one of the pipes are loose or got damaged. So I hope it was an easy fix. So the thing is, I also asked him what was wrong with the machine. He said the chambers weren't producing any water. So he was actually pulling his lever or pushing a button and no water came out. So that also made me think of damaged pipes or maybe the solid valve. So before actually showing you the damage or showing you the reason that it wasn't working, I will show you how to remove this machine properly. So the first thing you need to do is unscrew on the backside those four screws right over there. Once you've done that, you have three screws right at the bottom here that you need to remove as well. Once you've done that, you first remove the top, disconnect this wire here, and this is for the connection to the grinder. Remove the ground cable right over there. Then you need to remove two more screws, one screw that you need to unscrew from the bottom and the other one is at the other side here. So once you've done that, you can easily remove the top, exposing the top of the machine. And the back, you can just remove by clicking it up, wiggling it a little bit, because it's just attached with clams on the side. So you're just wiggling it and removing it won't be that big of a deal. Also, the bottom part is connected. All right here by two screws you remove that screw and that also releases it and then your water tube is disconnected so again first thing I actually recognized was a lot of water damage on the inside of the machine at the bottom so I cleaned that out everything was looking good so far cables weren't corroded and well the main circuit board was also not damaged it's nice and isolated from the heating components and also the water and that separation is pretty good and very smart but the one thing i am missing is when there is a damage inside of the machine there is no security valve or ventilation where the water can escape and that's why i saw a lot of water damage on the sides of the machine and on the inside sadly enough but in general, everything looked pretty good until I went to the magnet valve right over here. I started to wiggle this one a little bit and saw that the top was shaking and moving. Now, I checked both of them and the right one was very good, but I did see a lot of damage, as you can see, on this top head as if a plier was applied to this to remove it, but unsuccessfully. So I removed it properly with the correct tools and saw that everything was correct and working properly and nothing was damaged. But when I looked to the other one, I actually saw that this was broken off. So I tried to repair it, but just tried to close up the valve there and just test it out, see if this was the only issue. And yes, it was. So I just bought a new one 
and we should arrive in a couple of days. So what the idea here is, is actually replacing it and putting it back in position, putting the pipes back and testing it out and seeing if the machine is then fixed or not. So if you have this little puppy over here, the Gastro Pro, um, and you have the same issue and you wanna fix it, but you wanna do it yourself. So the thing is what you need to do, remove the top, remove the back, make a clean picture of the back and of every part to see that when you do something wrong, you can look back at the pictures and see, okay, this is how it needs to look. And if you can't see it right away, attach your filter with your tube, turn it on and let the water flow from your reservoir to the machine so you can find a leak or anything else. And if, yes, if you do open it up and see that is water damage at the bottom, you need to be very careful when you connect it back again to see where damage is coming from. In most cases, you can just locate it by following the trail of the corrosion, connecting it back again, you can see where the damage is coming from. But I do have to say, be careful with this. And if you don't trust it, then don't do it yourself. Let someone else do it for you. In most cases, the valve itself will cost you to between 25 and 30 euros to get the part. And then you have to realize the maintenance cost and repair cost at your home repair shop. I think 150 would be like the max that will be charged. If you bring it back to factory, they will actually charge you more between two or 300. Previous owner of this machine told me this, um, that the company accepted the machine back, but it will definitely cost between two and 300 euros. But the main problem was with their diagnostic from a distance was that the main board was the issue. So may or may not be cheaper, but still it would have cost a lot of money to ship it back to Germany and let them fix it. So this is the first part of the video. Second part will come out when I have the part at home. Um, that would be around maybe the 16th or the 17th of November and um, yeah so once that is in I will definitely make a second video and post it in the meantime thanks so much for watching and until next time